With PaintShop Pro's versatile range of pro-level photo editing and graphic design tools, plus time-saving AI-based solutions, you can enjoy a positive editing experience from start to finish and produce results that are as unique as your images. In this video, I'll highlight some of the new features and enhancements in PaintShop Pro 2023. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find links in the description below to download a written version of this tutorial, watch in-depth tutorials that explore some of these new features, and download a free trial of PaintShop Pro 2023. The new Focus Stacking feature enables you to blend multiple images of the same scene, taken at different focus distances, to create a final composite with a greater depth of field than any of the individual source images. The first step is to add files and stack. Go to File Focus Stacking to open the Focus Stacking interface. Click Add Photos, select the images you want to use, and they'll be added to the tray. Click the Stack button. The next step, which is optional, is to choose the areas of focus. If the stacked image is to your liking, you can click Blend and continue to the next step. But if there are any areas that need to be fixed, you can use the Brush In tool, replacing pixels in the stacked image with pixels from one of the source images. Once you're done, click Blend. The final step, also optional, is to crop and remove noise. To crop, you can use preset sizes, or enter your own width and height values, or drag the handles to adjust the crop window, then click Apply. Digital noise removal enables you to adjust settings for detail, and Correction Blend, which controls the degree to which the corrected image will be blended in with the original. You can also control what sharpening, if any, is applied to the image after the noise reduction is applied. When you have the results you want, click Finish in PSP to return to the Edit Workspace where you can continue working with other image editing tools and effects. Corel Aftershot Lab is now integrated within PaintShop Pro 2023, providing advanced features and tools for optimizing images in the raw file format without needing to run separate applications. Aftershot Lab is non-destructive, so your original image files remain untouched. To open Aftershot Lab, bring one or more raw files into the Edit Workspace, choose Use Aftershot Lab, and click Continue. The Aftershot Lab window features the preview area, the tray, and the Tools panel which has three tabs. The Standard tab features basic adjustments and presets. The most popular adjustments are at the top, including Auto Level, Perfectly Clear, and White Balance, where you can select from a list of lighting presets or use the Click White tool to select a neutral image area. There are also several adjustment sliders, such as Temperature and Contrast. Double-clicking a slider resets it, and you can use the Reset All button to start over. Below the basic adjustments are several preset adjustments to try, such as Bluer Skies or Cross Processing. From here, you can also change some of the basic adjustments, such as adding perfectly clear and increasing saturation and vibrance. If you want to save the current settings to use for other images, go back down to Presets and click Manage, add a folder, which you can rename, and click Add Preset. The current settings are automatically selected, assign the preset a name, and click OK. Now you can drag the preset into its folder and click Done. The Detail tab has controls for adjusting sharpening, raw noise, noise removal, and lens correction, plus options to mirror or invert the image. The Metadata tab displays data about the image itself, such as default metadata for date shot, camera model and settings, light source, etc. There are other tabs for other metadata categories. When finished in Aftershot Lab, click Finish Editing. This takes you back to the PaintShop Pro Edit Workspace, where copies of each image are ready for further edits or effects, and can be saved to any format you like. Introduced in PaintShop Pro 2022, 
the Frame tool has been enhanced in PaintShop Pro 2023 to include the ability to create frames with preset shapes, symmetric shapes, and text. In this example, I want to add a heart-shaped frame. I'll activate the Frame tool, select the Preset Shape option, and choose the heart. I'll set a line width that works as a thick border, and in the Materials palette, I'll click a red swatch to set the frame outline color. Then I'll click and drag to create the frame, and rotate, resize, and reposition. The image can be dragged in from the organizer or file browser and is sized and clipped automatically. I can also convert existing vector objects, such as this text, into a frame. I'll open the text layer group and select the text, activate the tool used to create the object, which is the text tool, right click and choose Convert Text to Frame Object. Now I can drag in the photo and move the photo so that the part I want appears in the frame. The frame tool can also be used to create composite images, such as this example of a circular frame into which I drag an image, then reduce the opacity of that image layer. The New From Template window gives you access to hundreds of creative templates, from cards to collages, brochures, and social media templates. You can choose from a selection of free templates, or you can purchase templates. In PaintShop Pro 2023, the layout has been updated with more content visible, plus new filter and sort options to make it easier to find just the right template for your project. To start with a template, click the New From Template icon on the Welcome screen. If you're in the Edit space, you can find this icon on the Standard Toolbar, or use File New From Template. You can also choose File New and open the New From Template tab. On the left are the template categories, and to the right are template thumbnails. Click on any thumbnail to see a preview of the template. You can use the Filter dropdown to display templates by themes and types. The Sort By dropdown enables you to change the thumbnail order by title, creation date, price, and more. So if you want to find free templates, then sort the list from the lowest price. To install a paid template, click Buy Now, or for a free template, click Download, then click Open. In the Layers palette, you'll see that the templates are built with layers and masks. Simply add an image to the layer group, and use the Pick tool if needed, to resize and reposition. If you're familiar with working with layers and masks, you can customize the template, such as changing the frame color or adding text. You can use File Save As to save your modified template as a new file. Just remember that if you want to preserve layers and masks, be sure to save in PSP format. With the new Real-Time Blend Mode preview, you can check layer blending results on the go by hovering over drop-down list options in the Layers palette. The new Snap to Objects feature, located in the View menu, enables you to align objects with precision in no time. Use the bounding box to precisely snap two objects together with automated high-level control and avoid extra steps in the editing process. For more precise rotation of raster or vector objects selected with the Pick tool, you can enter a rotation angle in the Angle field of the property bar. We've also improved the performance of the Refine brush so that processing is much smoother when you want to make extremely precise and accurate selections. And finally, we've also added raw file support for the latest camera models, such as Fujifilm XE4, Nikon ZFC, Sony ILCE1, and more. This brings us to the end of the tour of highlights in the new PaintShop Pro 2023. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find links in the description below to download a written version of this tutorial, watch in-depth tutorials that explore some of these new features, and download a free trial of PaintShop Pro 2023.